Hi everyone, this is Billy. Today I have some quick tips for you on how to use the Okinawan Kobuta weapon, the Sai. Specifically, how to hold it. Let's get started. There are three main grips we use with the Sai. The first is a closed grip. We're holding it so we can punch, we can block with it, we can elbow. The second grip is the open grip where we can strike with the long end of it, we can stab. We're holding it more like we would a baton or a uh, small sword. And the third grip, which isn't used as often, is the reverse grip or uh, hammer grip, where we're holding it and we can strike with the hooks, we can pull with the hooks. For the closed grip, we're gonna place our thumb inside the top hook, put our index finger along the, sh the handle, and then grip with our remaining three fingers on the bottom hook. From here, it's important that we keep the side nice and tight to our forearm. As you're striking or blocking, you don't want the side loose. If I don't have the side tight to my forearm, when I go to block, there's a good chance I'm gonna get hit in the forearm instead of the side. And if I do that as I'm punching, there's an even better chance that my wrist is gonna be misaligned and the side is gonna come out and I'm gonna damage my wrist and not do any damage to the target I'm trying to hit. So what I like to teach when you're doing any sort of strike or block with the side in the closed grip, squeeze all three fingers tight, but particularly pay attention to the pinky. If you're focusing on squeezing the pinky, it's gonna automatically squeeze the rest of the fingers nice and tight. So as I keep the side in this position, I'm gonna squeeze the pinky keep it tight, and I'm gonna have a little twist to my wrist, and that's gonna help lock the side into place. So the side can be loose here, and I squeeze the pinky, and I twist the wrist in, keeping it tight to my forearm. So as I'm punching from this position, with the side tight to my side, I can keep it tight, 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 and even on the extension of the strike, I can still squeeze inward, keeping the side as one part of my arm. I don't want the side to be separate from the arm, I want it to be connected the entire time. Whether I'm punching, whether I'm blocking with the weapon. In the open grip, instead of holding our weapon in a fist-like manner where our thumb is going over our, our index finger and our middle finger, we're actually gonna hold the thumb right underneath the ball beneath the guard. Right where the hooks come together, there should be a little protrusion, and you're gonna place your thumb there. We have a little more control of the weapon because it's such a small handle, we hold this way, and it more easily allows us to slip our thumb into position to close the weapon. If our thumb was around our grip here, it would take a lot longer to go all the way from here to here to try to close it. Whereas our thumb is already in position here, it just slips in and the weapon can come to its closed position. Just like when we're holding it in our closed position, when we hold it open, we wanna make sure we're squeezing the pinky tight so we're maintaining control of the weapon the entire time. And the most important thing from this position is that we're not letting the thumb ride over the ball on the guard. When we do that and if a weapon comes in that we're trying to catch, we're gonna get hit in the hand. So make sure you're keeping your thumb safe not letting it come over this way, this way, or even letting your fingers come over the guard where they can get hit when you're trying to catch a weapon. Keep everything beneath the guard and you'll be safe. Our hammer grip is gonna be very similar to our open grip where we're not holding the sigh with our thumb over our, our index finger because again, we're not gonna have as much control of the weapon. So I'm gonna grip it pinky to index finger and then I'm gonna place my thumb along the shaft of the weapon and using that as leverage as I strike forward. So from this position, I can hit I can pull, I can hook around something, striking with the hooks. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, train hard, train smart. I'll see you soon.